Hello guys, welcome back once again to my YouTube channel on Transmission Line. In this series, we will cover the following topics in each separate video. Let's start with cable drum unloading. Cable is a valuable product and its handling should be done with extensive care. Incorrect handling may cause deflection of drum flange, resulting in flattening, deformation, or damage. Let's check some do's and don'ts before proceeding to unloading procedure. The drums should always be stored and moved in an upright position. When kept upright, the cable layers will not get entangled. This would obviate problems during lying up. In no case, the drums be stored on the flat that is with flange horizontal. If a fork lift is used, cable drum should be approached from the flange side. Position of the forks needs to be such that the reel is lifted by both reel flanges. Always roll the drum in the direction of arrow. This way, the cable will not unwind or loosen on the drum. Limit rolling distance to 5 meters. Once placed in position, use proper stoppers to prevent drum from rolling. Suitable capacity equipment and tools to be used for unloading the drum. The lifting equipment is positioned close to the unloading point. Drum lifting jack are to be placed first into proper position. Ensure that the soil below the drum lifting jack should be hard enough to withstand the heavy weight of the drum. distance between the two jack to be cross-checked as per the width of the drum. The spindle is carefully inserted through the center of the drum. to be done with as long a rope as possible, so that the sides of the drum are not damaged.
ensure safety during cable installation, following shall be checked prior to installation. While opening the packing, a careful watch should be made to ensure tools used in opening do not damage the layers of cable. The cable has not been damaged in transit or storage. Before starting laying, electrical test should be carried out by MEGA for checking, open circuit, short circuit, moisture, insulation etc. It is also desirable to check the size type of cable to avoid possible labeling errors by the packers and also the cable selected is proper for design application. In upcoming video, we will see how cable pulling is done in trench. If you like the video please like, subscribe and share.